Hello developers, welcome back to p 5 f um, This is a full stack Laravel VJS uh, uh, application development tutorial series on e-commerce. And this is actually a freemium uh, tutorial series which you can uh, purchase and become a premium member with uh, as much amount as you would like just to support us. And you will be able to get uh, some benefit as well. So I hope if you want to know more, you can see the first video, what benefit you are going to have. Now, <clears throat> in this video, I will try to explain what kind of image database we're going to use and uh, we will follow uh, Amazon as much as possible. Surely we don't know how they did but we can assume uh, their structure and we can find out a little bit better for us as well. Now a lot of you guys has uh, complained about uh, the uh, voice quality for my uh, tutorial so I'm trying to improve that but I could not buy a very good microphone yet so it's still coming hopefully soon I will be able to make uh, very good voices now let's go ahead and don't talk uh, a lot of other things okay now let's understand how Amazon does their works okay you can see uh, they have uh, for each of these colors they have a different uh, images okay small image as small image icons now if you click any of them you see they have a different multiple sets of images okay so if I click on this red shirt you see multiple reds here okay so multiple version of the red so if you click this one you see multiple again front back and the folded version of the shirt so uh, this way you can get easily a lot of uh, images so it's actually make the system much better much cleaner because if you can show the uh, customers as much variety as you have completely clearly and cleanly then uh, you are going to attract the customers. So that is what they are following. And we have a um, few version of the images. So here you can see the very small sizes. And this is the pre, uh, we can say medium version and the zoomed version. So let's say zoomed version is actually coming from this original image. And we have a preview version, okay? So they have a different size in the sizes of the same image, okay? Now, Let's talk about how we can develop something very much similar to this and also we need to be able to reuse the images whenever needed, okay? So instead of just uploading and adding the images, we can have a gallery of Im image gallery from where we can actually go ahead and reuse them, okay? Perfect. Now let's go ahead and try to implement that. So first of all, what we're going to do is create an image gallery uh, database table. So let's move on and create a reusable gallery. Uh, we can call image galleries. I'm not sure if the spelling is right, but let's move on. And we will store ID, of course, which is mandatory for every table. And Let's keep this little bit top so we get some spaces here. Try to understand this video because this is going to be really com uh, important and a little bit complex as well. So you are not so much used to seeing this kind of databases everywhere. And I'm pretty sure that you are not also so much mm, uh, into it, uh, into developing this kind of database. Okay? Because this uh, have a lot of complexity and cost as well. But yeah, it's good for learning. So they have a small version of the image which we can refer to this image a small version of the images so let's go ahead and make a small version of the same images and we will not care about the image sizes for now so and then we can say about medium i'm not sure if the spelling is correct pardon me and then we can go ahead and save as large image okay so you have three version of these images and image galleries are completely independent and no uh, and it's not dependent on anyone now the very important thing is that i think you uh, most of you guys are are actually storing images with products table with relations with product table but in the case i'm not going to do that because I have a lot of variety in the uh, in the product, so let's see how the Amazon does. Okay, we cannot completely figure out Amazon uh, database design architecture definitely. So we just can guess and find out what we can do for ourselves. Now, let's go ahead and check it out a little bit. Um, you see, they have the size as a property, 
variation options, variation option color. And you see, we really need to update the variation options because you see the variation option, they have a, whether a select box, it can be a select box or it can be a, um, this, sorry, it can be select box or it can be a drop down menu. So we need to take options. If you would like to go ahead and you need to take, okay, what kind of uh, a design it will be in the system, okay, for front end. So if you go to another website, you can see, you, can, you will be able to just select the options, okay? Now here you can see that this image is under a particular property, okay? That's called color. It can call anything, okay? It definitely can call anything or it just can, can be attached completely with the color, but there can be product that doesn't have any color. So, yep, that might have any kind of uh, uh, property. So we don't know, but let's go ahead with and try with the different images, okay? So here again, they have a color as a default, and then they have attached a different kind of different sets of picture with each and uh, individual uh, variation options values actually. So we can say that this is variation options, and these are variation options values. So how do we store the images? And each variation option values has multiple set of images, okay? Maybe up to three, we can decide how long we should allow, but that's a task for the front end and back end logic. It's not up to the database design. So here we have actually, we can actually, uh, take this database table at the top. Here we see variation options. So the variation option can be color, size, or anything that doesn't matter to us. And it's completely dynamic, but if we want, we can design a database that actually can have a default variation names. For example, color and size can be default if it is just a clothing store, okay? And if it is electronics, maybe some other properties can be default, we don't know. But for now, it's completely dynamic, completely up to the admin, so that's why. Now, here you see variation options values, okay? Now, we will store images uh, uh, making a relations with this table, okay? Now, let's see how it's going to work. We will name it as definitely product images. Perfect. Now here, it's going to be ID as the primary key. And we will actually reference this image gallery ID. So this is a pivot table actually. So image gallery ID integer. Pardon me for any wrong spelling. So it's uh, image gallery definitely. So this is one relation. Now we need to make another relation with this table. Because since uh, w the reason why we need to make a pivot table, if you do not understand when a pivot table is required, if you require to have multiple uh, data set or multiple rows for same ID, then you should go ahead with second table. And if two table is uh, influencing then you need to make a pivot table okay I understand this explanation is not good but let's just do it okay so we need to have products variations view ID for NK to this table that's perfect so we have it now now when we in the front end when we will be looping through this uh, attribute okay we will check okay this is size we will print size then we will also bring its image says okay uh, since it has an id uh, it has an id that has uh, images here so we will make a relations and from that relationships actually we can call if it has images okay if it has images we will show like this and if it doesn't we will just skip from here okay so this way we can make a design completely looking like this, okay? Now, why do we need multiple versions, okay? Here, if you click, we will be able to see the multiple version of these images. So that's why we can have um, uh, a pivot table. We are having a pivot table. But here, one thing you should notice is that it's, it, it, you have three images, one, two, three. And here you go one two three no we should be able to make one image as featured image okay so here what images we should show here okay 
you see the first one is the featured image I mean showing at the first so we need to take care about this one as well we, you can work with anything this one can be the first images so it doesn't really matter so we can take a boolean here is featured so we will show it in the uh, it can be a boolean to save data huh? um, that's okay and default should be actually primary key default should be false so it's featured that's perfect so this way we can show a different version of these images and also uh, different uh, sets of images along with their property I mean variation options values now let's try to optimize this database because we are going to simply for showing a product uh, showing an image here we need to call so many tables and that's not go going to be great for us so how can we make this database a little bit better and let's check it out since the read will be heavy for us so let's check it out so this is product we will call this table normally when we go list all the all the products so we will call this table and just to get images we need to come up to this table and we need to call or call these images directly from the map. so it's actually going one two three four tables it just to get the images we have to go to the four tables that's going to be really really annoying in the listing it's it's okay if you just want to show it in here because it's just a single product items and you can afford that as well you can afford that that doesn't much uh, that will not be a problem but here you have a lot of images need to be a lot a lot of products you need to retrieve from the database so coding so many tables with so and so relationships are not going to be good for us so how to make this optimized a little bit so here in the listing you see we only have the medium images I mean the preview images so medium images so if we can somehow save the preview images here in the product tables directly then it's going to be really good for us now here you see this images is featured images okay when the admin will make upload an images so we already have uploaded images in image gallery and it has already three versions uploaded and now when we make an image is featured that means we know which image is that okay and as soon as we know which image is featured image we will save the image information here okay so we will do that on the right time not read time okay so we can make this database better is that we can say preview image here and this can be this is called data duplication but that's okay because we need to uh, make uh, we we should stop calling so many tables so just to gain something just to gain something we can afford to lose something okay it's not always 100% perfect so it's okay if we lose it here preview image is a string of any length uh, I can be any, uh, I, I am not caring about length right now because it doesn't matter for the time being actually it does matter in the production server because quickly if you if it's a busy website quickly the database size can grow really big and database sizes actually hurts when you have a big database uh, it's actually going to be really nightmare for you so you should be able you should have an optimized database from start to end I will go um, through all kind of optimization maybe not so much but as much as possible as I can uh, because this video is already really long and this uh, series is going to be really big and really enterprise level I hope you can you guys can add a lot of suggestion okay let's not touch so much outside of things just focus on the project okay so let's say what is happening what what will happen in the admin panel is that you are going to add option then option values and then you want to, when you add the product images I mean from the image gallery you will up uh, select the images and when you select we will give you an option whether it is a featured image or not so as soon as you 
mark it as a feature image we will take the domains and we will up, uh, update it here okay and again if you change it definitely we are going to change this there so we have to have a uh, checking whether we are changing it we're uploading a new image so we need to upload it so this way we don't have to call so many tables for product listings okay so we clearly optimized our database uh, quite good for images now now for here uh, for here it's a single one little one product items so we can afford to call keep in mind that here it's only the smaller version of the images but you see let's check one more thing just a quick check for me so they're getting new images every time yes I think they are getting new images every time you hit a new image yeah I think so okay so that's it and I think if I can find out a way to optimize I have not given much thought about it but if I have any um, any other thinking of it any other thoughts I will update it and you guys will be able to get it and if you guys think uh, you have much better ideas for this complex database design for images please come uh, please go ahead and share your information okay thank you so much for watching this video and please like subscribe and yeah don't forget to uh, provide your valuable feedback in the comment